Hello, welcome back. Um, before we get started, I just want to say about the American Revolution, and this is not related to the lesson today at all, but about the American Revolution. We stopped at the Declaration of Independence. However, they did not get their freedom because of the Declaration of Independence. So they still had to go to war in between that time between the Declaration of Independence and getting their freedom. So they were still having battles, etc. But we just didn't go over that. But now that we did learn about the 13 colonists and Britain, at least you know why the Declaration of Independence is important, why Fourth of July is important, why people celebrate it, etc. Um, of course, slavery was still going on. So Declaration of Independence doesn't necessarily mean slavery was finished or even after the war. So there's still a lot to learn, but at least you know now, like I already said, why the Declaration of Independence was important. Moving on from that, today we're learning about anti-Semitism and that's related to the Holocaust. We're going to be hearing that word a lot. So today we're just gonna go over the word, watch a video, about it and then you'll have some like practice questions um in regards to that um in my own definition anti-semitism is basically like prejudice or hatred against jews specifically um yeah so we're going to be uncovering that because that directly relates to the holocaust and of course like we learned in the last lesson i think you learned it um the Holocaust wasn't just the Jews, like there were other people targeted as well, but the Jews made up um, the majority with the six million. So here you'll, you'll learn more about that.